Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, All About BI. In this video, I am going to talk about uh, passing a JSON file using copy activity. In the last video, we discussed the same thing uh, using uh, data flow activity, right? So this time, how do we make use of a copy activity to pass a JSON file? What are the uh, things that we need to keep in mind? Basically, the pros and cons, okay? So I have two files uh, for this video. One is test JSON and test JSON 2. Test JSON is the same file that we used in the last video. We have an array of JSON file with uh, uh, JSON objects. We have two JSON objects here. One is this followed by this one. Okay. One uh, ID is Sriram KV and another ID is VR Subha. So how the expected output is this JSON file should be converted to a text file. That file should have two records. One for this uh, object, another for this object. Okay. So basically for VR Subha, whatever the attributes are present in the uh, first object, it should it should be mapped against VR Subha and uh, all these should come against Sriram KV. Alright. So this is the expected output. This doesn't have any array. So uh, the implementation is quite simple for this. Okay. So I have this copy data and I have pointed to the same file that I spoke about right now. Uh, it is an array of JSON objects. So here I am mapping to that. In the sync, I am just writing it to a uh, uh, output folder and the file name is no array dot output, no array dot text. In the mapping, initially it will be like uh, empty. I will show you that. I will clear. So like this it will be initially. But after you import, right? Why do we have to import? Just to look at the uh, structure of your JSON file, how it is being passed by the copy activity so that only we are just going to import schema and verify whether everything is looking fine or not so as per our file we have header this is one object qualification is another object work is another object okay so for each json object we have three uh, sub objects like header qualification and work nothing else is there so same way it is interpreting in copy activity so we are good to go uh, this collection reference it doesn't have any work here because our JSON file is not bringing any array. Okay, there is no uh, nested array uh, in any of your JSON object. So this is blank. Alright. So this is how the setup is. Let me run it quick. Um, so uh, if you have a simple JSON file like this, it's uh, uh, it, it can be uh, interpreted by or it can be passed by a copy activity. No need to go to data flow activity at all in case you uh, have a simple structure like this okay so what if we have an array that's what i'm going to touch upon next so let us see if it has executed right it's successful let me go to the output folder and then i'll look at my no array.txt file this got generated right now so see here two records one for vr suba second for sriram kv and it has all the details that are present in our json file coming quickly to the next json uh, or next copy activity okay so this copy activity points to uh, another file with an array i have uh, put one array for uh, example uh, for this particular person what are the qualifications so qualifications are stored in an array how do i say that there is a square bracket inside that couple of objects are there this is an array of json objects okay the expected output as usual you should have two records one for uh, vtech one for mtech okay so this is what we are expecting uh, since our file is having um, array we need to make use of collection reference okay i'll show you that so i have pointed to the uh, file that i showed you right now which is nothing but uh, and a simple json file with a simple array right so i'm just going to the mapping tab here i'll uh, reset now okay i'll i'll have to tell you a couple of things here so collection reference it is showing one array what if you have multiple arrays that is a question right what if you have nested array that you have to experiment so if you have two arrays there is no means uh, to unroll your data by those two arrays using copy activity this is the minus with respect to copy activity if you are going to uh, unroll your data by multiple arrays uh, you will have to use data flow activity okay so uh, here since we just have uh, one simple uh, array right we are just showing qualification in the drop down all right so by default 
you will just have uh, like this you will not see any uh, kind of uh, schema information but once i import you will be seeing some schema information okay like this so i am choosing qualification as uh, the collection reference and uh, if i run my um, pipeline as such without making any changes it's not going to write the data properly okay it is just going to write one record uh, but that is not expected what we are expecting is two records one for btech one for mtech so let us see how it is being passed and why it is writing only one i'll show you that or i'll tell you why collection reference three six okay this is the output file see here only for btech it is uh, writing the record it is skipping mtech so the reason behind this for qualification array it is by default taking zero um, zeroth index in the sense first record is only being considered you might have 100 entries in your qualification array only the first one is going to be considered so we don't want this to be present in our um, schema okay i'm just wiping it all and then i'm just going to see what happens next okay i'm just running my pipeline again let's see what happens so just keep in mind that if you have uh, an array if you are choosing it in a collection reference uh, make sure to remove that index of zero from your mapping otherwise it's not going to pass any other uh, data that is in the array so let me see with array three five I think. is this the latest one or some failure happened I think it hasn't even run, so it's uh, kind of stuck now. Uh, let me see and re trigger it. I just close my pipeline and uh, I'm just reopening and running it now. Let me see if it runs this time. Okay, it says succeeded. Let me refresh my output and see. And as expected, we have uh, two records one for VTEC and one for MTEC. So it's as simple as that. Uh, we just had removed one thing from the mapping okay so by since i closed my pipeline on open right the st structure or the appearance has changed in the ui if you want to look have a look at the previous version i'm just clicking on advanced editor so that you can um, have the hierarchy flattened okay so here what we did we just removed that index altogether with this dollar symbol okay if you put dollar symbol here it's not going to work out it's not going to read anything just point to the uh, property name simply okay so this is how uh, we have to pass a file with an array if if there is more than one array try uh, using data flow for that okay so that's it for me for this video um, try to play around with multiple JSON structures so that you can uh, learn a lot of stuff from uh, uh, the same. So, uh, thanks a lot for watching. Keep supporting. Let me know for any questions you have.